It is the day before Halloween. Ooh, I was in an Ifton, and I'm making a driving video of leaving Metropolis, Illinois. This is part two of that video. I, there's a thermometer here. I'm not usually lucky enough to stay someplace where there's a thermometer. If to Evan degrees. Yeah, it's so fucking hot in here, I got to put the air conditioner on. And I'm making a driving video leaving Metropolis, Illinois. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. All these fucking cars. Okay, it's this. This is interstate on towards. After two o'clock, I I don't know how the fuck it happened. I lost the fucking water bowl for the cat. I left must have left it in the fucking room. So I come back. The person who cleaned the room said it wasn't there. There or something. Well, the cunt probably threw it out. Here's the interstate in Paducah. Of what I'm gonna do is just take inter to stay on Orta off. And this is the same road I, that goes through um, the Chicago area, like Mannheim Road. I'm fascinated by things like this. You can pick up on Untour anyway. So I lost the... F oh, God. You know, if that were, then, you, then you take that to the Chicago area. But I'm going towards Atlanta. It would fucking suck if a vacation comes to an end, and or does, but, uh... How the fuck did I lose my fucking water bowl? How the fuck for the cat? I lost the fucking water bowl. I fucking left it in the fucking room. And how the fuck could it be sitting on the fucking floor and me walk in there and totally fucking miss it? I don't know how the fuck... That, the fucking cunt probably just threw it out in the diet. The person who cleaned the room. And the person who cleaned the room was an American. She was white. And she still cleaned it. Said she didn't throw anything out. I fucking hate it when that happens. I really fucking hate it. And, if, you know, why would I get so upset over a fucking water bowl? First of all, it's a pain he has to get another one. They, they, did, they did at least give me another water, another bowl. And everything should be okay. It's smaller. So at least... You know, it got it kind of got replaced at least. It was kind of dirty, but I cleaned it out. So I'm heading into Kentucky, and I just want to take it a different way in this time. I just don't know how this kind of fucking bullshit happens. I know that know that when you're rushing. If you're trying to get out by checkout time, guess what happens? I'm rushing. Rushing causes things to fuck up. And forgetting fucks things up. It really fucks things up. I wasted so much fucking time. It's after 2 o'clock now. I'm not even out of Illinois yet. I think I'm shit out of luck for making any Tron videos. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. It's going to take at least two hours to get to Nashville. It's not going to take longer than that. You're looking at 5 o'clock. I fucking hate it when something goes wrong. I really fucking hate it. I hate it with a fucking passion. I fucking hate it. I know I'm fo fo focused on the, the focus on the things that go right. But I still hate it with a fucking passion when I fuck something. Something fucks up. Part of the problem of having Asperger's. Kind of be worse if she didn't give me another water bowl. But that it was just something that was lost and found probably for a long time. And the person hasn't claimed it in a while. That was probably, I don't know what would have happened. If, if, Rushing fucks things up. I could do something really serious. That's what worries the fuck out of me. I could leave the phone there, or I could leave the laptop, or I could leave the. If I could fucking leave a water dish, I could leave any fucking thing there. Something valuable. 
that's that's the number one reason why it, why it upsets the fuck out of me is knowing that I could fuck up so fucking bad that I could fucking end up actually leaving something a lot more valuable. I, one time I left the uh, the thing that scoops the turds and the balls of piss out of the cat's litter box. I only stayed at the motel after that. So I didn't get a new thing to scoop the balls of piss and throw it out of the litter box until after I got home. And I had to, of course, get a new one right away because I need to scoop the balls of piss and throw it out of the cat's litter box. I fucking hate it when I lose something. I don't know what the fuck happened. Fuck, how the fuck could I walk in the bathroom and, and not see the thing on the fucking floor? I, I don't remember dumping the thing out like I usually do. I fucking forgot. Fucking hate that kind of shit. Fucking hate it when I forget something. I really fucking hate it. Ruins things. Fucking hate it. I hate it when something goes wrong. I fucking hate it with a fucking passion. So if you want to know why I get upset over something that may seem as trivial as a water bowl, I worry about losing something much more important. I still want to experience crossing the state line, maybe from a different location. Much smaller bridge, you're going over the Ohio River. <laughs> the bridge seems kind of dangerous, but interesting. Oh god, this, this shit, this... This is kind of interesting. water dish didn't make it to Kentucky because I fucking forgot it. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate it when I fuck something up. I want to enjoy the bridge. But I get upset when shit happens. I don't handle it very good when shit happens. And I got some Tron videos and I get I got some Tron videos like in progress. This bridge is fucking cool though. to experience a bridge like this every day. So it goes in the Paducah, Kentucky. And Nord Ive eventually goes on to Untor. So. Next time I'm going to ride Music City Star Trons. So I have to... I, I have to probably try to stay in Nashville and make it all the way to Nashville next time. Otherwise, things are going to get all fucked up like they did this time. Now I'm in the south. Borderline between the south. But why is it that southern Illinois, where all the people that they talk like rednecks, they have a southern accent? But northern Kentucky, they also have 
this is either an accident. Why don't they have? Why don't they talk like people in the Midwest? <laughs> you know, we know they do. But I know this goes on to on to or That's why I decided. So I'm not really going out of my way. It's slower, but it's. Davis is in, yeah, and she's a fucking cunt, God, and Jesus, he, ah, my rights were taken away, I love Jesus, and God's on my side, Jesus on my side, and I'm not gonna support gay marriages, because it's a sin, and, yeah, if I'm in Paducah, Kentucky, so I get to see more than that, um, My rods were taken away because I, I ain't not allowed to discriminate against people anymore. And I know that gay marriage is not going to solve our problems. <laughs> not even close. With all these rednecks and <laughs> thinks she's got the right to discriminate against people and hate people. That's against their rights. I guess I support freedom of speech. So if the fucking cunt wants to express her opinion in opposition for it, I guess that's her right. But I don't know what happened to her. I haven't heard much about her. I'm sure she's still a cunt. Homosexuality is a sin. There's a lot of. I know men suck each. Gay men suck each other's dick and they fuck each other in the ass and things like that. I love talking about things like that in a conservative place. It's fun. It's more, it's more fun than if I was going through the north side of Chicago where a lot of gay people are talking about things like this. It's more fun talking about where most people are homophobic. But men fuck women in the ass and the problem with fucking someone in the ass is sometimes you get a piece of fecal matter on your dick. And this, and this is where Satan does come in because Satan causes shit to stink. It should be fun to get fucked in the ass. It should be fun to fuck someone in the ass. We shouldn't have to worry about the shit that gets in the way. And I mean that literally. Yes, I'm in a bad mood because I forgot the fucking water dish. And it looked like a house just from the south or the Midwest, more like this. But Metropolis, Illinois looked like this. God, I hope. Oh God, I gotta be careful who's behind me. I'm not really supposed to make videos here. Yeah, because the thing that would hold the camera to the windshield fell off. I fucking hate it when this shit happens. I really fucking hate it when the fucking pitch. Yeah, God, I fucking hate it. Him in the South now, they do cheap to have traffic lights. They gotta put them on power lines. Well, I'm gonna stop this and make a part E of this video.